First, though, we do want to update you this morning on some of the latest news coming out of Penn State. There is a new set of sexual abuse allegations against a leading sports figure there, of course. Uh, uh, this story, police in Memphis say Bobby Dodd, longtime president of the Amateur Athletic Union, or AAU, is suspected of abusing boys some 30 years ago. Obviously, separate story here. They're investigating those allegations. Two alleged victims told their stories, though, to ESPN last week. There is that story on the heels of Penn State, as we mentioned. And meanwhile, there are developments this week at Penn State. At least five alleged victims are set to tell their stories in court for the first time. Anna Werner is in State College, Pennsylvania. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. You know, their allegations have been the subject of two grand jury reports and hundreds of news stories. But tomorrow, Jerry Sandusky's accusers are expected to answer questions themselves about their allegations that he molested them. The preliminary hearing will be the public's first chance to hear directly from some of the young men who claim Sandusky sexually abused them as children. Jerry Sandusky will be there to hear their testimony, too, and his lawyer Joe Amendola says. Well, he's dreading it, if you can imagine. I mean, he's going to have to sit in a courtroom with a couple hundred people. I understand it's going to be filled to capacity, including members of his family and friends who are going to listen to some of these young men say horrific things occurred between them and Jerry. And CBS News has learned that a key prosecution witness is also scheduled to testify, Mike McQueary. McQueary is the former Penn State assistant coach who told a grand jury that in 2002 he saw Jerry Sandusky in a locker room shower on the Penn State campus, sexually assaulting a young boy. According to the grand jury report, he says he saw a boy he estimated to be 10 years old with his hands up against the wall being raped by a naked Sandusky. But a local newspaper report Sunday raised new questions about whether McQueary may have told a different story back then. The Harrisburg Patriot News, quoting a source, says that after the incident, McQueary went to his father's home, where a family friend, Dr. Jonathan Dranov, was also present. The newspaper says Dranov reportedly said that at the time, McQueary heard sex sounds, saw a young boy stick his head around the corner, and an adult arm reached around and pulled the boy back. The paper said Dronov told grand jurors he asked McQueary several times if he saw anything sexual, and several times McQueary said no. At Dronov's home Sunday, a woman declined to comment. We're not opening the door. My Goodbye. McQueary also declined to speak. Now, one person who will not be testifying tomorrow is Sandusky himself. This will be a probable cause hearing where prosecutors have to establish the basic elements of the charges against Sandusky. And Jeff, by the way, no cameras in the courtroom tomorrow. All right. Anna Warner in State College. Anna, thanks.